how to use ClickUp as a CRM. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm giving you a tutorial how we can use ClickUp.com, which is a project management software as a CRM. So let's get into it. First of all, what you guys need to do is uh, you're going to go to ClickUp.com and you will land right here on this platform. ClickUp is a very famous project management software that allows you to create your own projects, collaborate with your team and much more. Uh, with ClickUp, we get a lot of different options for the workspaces, for the dashboards. And when it comes to CRM, we can use ClickUp as a CRM. A lot of people don't know that, but today I'll show you everything you need to know. So first of all, in order to get started, you will have to sign up for ClickUp. So you will get the option right here. Uh, you can see the button. So signing up process is really easy and it's completely free. All you have to do is just enter your email address. Once you enter your email address right here, click on get ClickUp and you will be able to sign up. After the initial sign up or sign into your ClickUp.com, this is where you will get. You can see this is our home on ClickUp, the first thing that you will see. At this side of the screen, you will find home, then we have notifications, pulse, goals, and then we have show less. Here we have favorites, spaces. Now this is where you will get all of your different projects and all of the workspaces that you have created. Then we have dashboards. This is where we see the dashboards and then we have documents. Here we have our default workspace and even if you want to switch between the workspaces, you will be able to do so from here. We have some of the other options here, such as integrations, template center, apps, and we have, uh, again, the import and export here, invite, and more. If you want to invite someone to your ClickUp, then you will click on this invite user, enter their email address, and they will be invited right here. We can also invite a certain person to a certain project, and I'll show you how to do that. So in order to use ClickUp as a CRM, we're going to go to the spaces and I will actually create a new workspace, which is going to be the CRM one. So we'll go to the templates and within our templates, we can find different categories to go for. Here, we're going to search for a CRM. This is the template right here. Manage your leads, customer relations and sales pipeline all in one uh, place with ClickUp. So this is the CRM pretty good, uh, you know, template that we can go for. So we'll just click on use template. Now we will give it a name and then we have please select a space. So for this space, I'm going to go with the space here and I will import everything and customize as well and click on use template. So this is our template right here. You can see with our CRM template, uh, I got the accountant and opportunities and then we have a list. So within our accounts and opportunities, we have our different deals and we will be able to add different statuses to our deals, the leads that we're getting. You can create different sections such as a closed and lost deal. Then we have a, a lead, a new lead. Then we have a proposal, a demo. So you can see a different sections have been created right here, different sections that we need for a CRM, uh, you know, project. So what happens here is uh, it's very simple. Just like we use ClickUp for project management, we will be able to create different tasks here. The task and the list are going to be, of course, the leads and different uh, statuses are going to be the status for the pipeline or the lead that we have. So you can see uh, here in account and opportunities, we have closed uh, lost deals. So I can just click on the new task here and it will allow me to add another one. And here I can now add assignees. We can add different team members to our CRM uh, board here. Uh, to add a team member, you can just click on the invite option at the top, which is the share right here. Once you click on share, you will enter the email address uh, and then click on invite. It will also show you the different team members that you have here. So in my team members here, and then you can assign, for instance, I can assign this task to a team member here. Then I can assign maybe this one. We have like a demo, so I can assign it to two of my team members, for instance, this, and then I can add another one. So you can see we have two people for this task. We can set priorities, we can add due dates and more. So if I open up any of the tasks right here within our CRM, or if I want to create a new one, so you just click right here, let's call it test and you click on enter and a new task is created. So I have created one in the demo section here. Now I will open it up and we can do a lot with a task in ClickUp. So you can see we have assignees again, we have priorities. So in priorities, what I can do is uh, I can uh, add it to high, urgent or normal. And here you can see we have different sections. 
So the sections we're getting is the uh, closed, uh, you know, one, then we have intro call, qualified prospect, unqualified prospect. So we can use ClickUp as a help tool for our CRM business that, that we're running. And here we can add different tasks. We can add different kind of proposal here, the calls that, that need to be done and everything. So after that, we have these three dots here, uh, which is the task settings. Then we have dependencies and tags too. You can scroll down and you will be able to add the subtask and uh, attachments too. We have at the top time tracking. So time tracking is also important if you deal with customer uh, support as well. So you can actually track time for each of the different tasks. And then we have our due dates here. So this is how we create different tasks right here within our ClickUp to help us with our CRM. There are different views available on ClickUp. We have the list view, then we have the board view. So at the top, you can see we have board, then we have a calendar, then we have canned timeline activity, and then we have more views. Click on more views and you can add a mind map as well, workload uh, and others too. Then we have automate. So automation is also an important part of uh, a CRM business. So you can click on the automation and here you will be able to add different automations. Within our, you know, CRM folder here, we have account and opportunity, we have list and I can add more spaces into this folder as my CRM. Uh, if I want to create another separate board for my sales, I can do that and I can keep track of everything. We can even upload documents here. We can upload our smart sheets and we can upload our CSV files uh, very easily with any of the different tasks that we're creating. You can move a task uh, from one section to the other. For instance, there was a lead. Let me create a new one. For instance, we have a test. So this test was actually an unqualified uh, you know, proposal but then it got qualified. So what we can do is we can move it to the next list here. Once it's here, let's say that we did the intro call. So I will move the test to the intro call here. Then we got the demo. So what I will do is I will move it to the demo here and also assign it to the other person now. Then we have a proposal. And after that, the proposal was accepted and it was actually a closed one. So what happens is I will move it to my last section here. So this is how we can actually create a task from a simple lead and we can take it up to the sale. You will be able to track everything. We can change assignees within our way here. We can also add more sections. And if you want to, you know, change something about a section, for instance, the names here, you can rename a status, you can edit the status, you have claps, uh, create new task and more. So we can also add subtasks to, uh, to a task. So if you do a lot of subtasking, then you will be able to do so. At the bottom here, we have task option, which allows us to add a task, uh, you know, quickly. And then we have these uh, four dots here that give us more options such as record clip, a reminder, notepad. So reminder and notepad are something that we use a lot within our ClickUp. Then we have a calendar and task tree. So these are the different kinds of options and tools that we can use uh, ClickUp uh, with and we can actually use ClickUp for our CRM business. It gives you a lot of different options and the opportunity to manage your CRM business better. I hope that I was a big help. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below, turn on bell notification and subscribe to YouTube channel.